So, when one of Silicon Valley's most legendary investors makes a nine-figure bet, you know it's more than just a headline. It's a massive signal. Today, we're going to deconstruct Peter Thiel's huge investment into a company called Bitmine Immersion Technologies, or BMNR, and what it might be telling us about a major shift for the future of Ethereum. Okay, so let's start with this question because it really gets the heart of what's going on here. It's not just about the money, right? It's about what the money means. When an investor who has a history of picking giants makes a move this big, the market doesn't just listen, it tries to read between the lines. So let's do just that. And this, this is the number that just set off a firestorm, 9.1%. By itself, it's just a percentage, but in this context, it represents a strategic, high-conviction bet worth over $160 million, and it was placed by one of the sharpest minds in tech and finance. It's the kind of move that makes everyone stop and ask, okay, what does he see that we don't? At the center of all this is, of course, Peter Thiel, a key member of the famous PayPal Mafia and his venture capital firm Founders Fund. Their decision to take such a massive position in a company that's all in on Ethereum is what has everybody talking. Look, for a firm like this, it's not just another trade. It's a thesis statement written with a whole lot of zeros. The details here are super important. The filing, a scheduled 13G, came out on July 15th. Now, usually, a 13G means it's a passive investment. The investor isn't trying to take over the company. But let's be real, with feel, passive almost never means uninterested. This $162 million stake immediately vaulted Founders Fund into the top tier of BMNR's institutional backers. And the market's reaction? It was immediate and, frankly, explosive. People didn't just see this as a bet on one company. No, they saw it as a massive bet on the entire Ethereum ecosystem, with BMIR being the perfect, publicly traded way to get that exposure. The feeling was clear. Thiel wasn't just buying stock he was buying a piece of crypto's core infrastructure. To really get the weight of this, you have to look at his track record. I mean, Thiel is famous for his zero to one philosophy. Backing companies that don't just compete, they create whole new categories. He co-founded PayPal. He was the very first outside investor in Facebook. His career is basically a highlight reel of finding these revolutionary companies right before they took off. So for a lot of people, just seeing BMNR on a list with these names says it all. Okay, so Thiel's investment might have been the spark, but he is far from the only one here. Actually, his move is just one piece of a much bigger story. A massive wave of institutional capital, you know the whales of the financial world, all rushing into the exact same company. And we're not just talking about a few niche crypto funds here. We are talking about over 370 different institutions. That's huge. It shows that a broad consensus is forming among some of the biggest and smartest players in finance. The idea is moving from the fringe right into the mainstream on Wall Street. And this table just perfectly shows you the scale of this thing. I mean, look at these names. You've got Wall Street royalty like Morgan Stanley at the top with a jaw-dropping half a billion dollar position. You've got innovation-focused funds like ARK Invest. And then you have the absolute titans of asset management, BlackRock and Vanguard, plus banking giants like JP Morgan, this isn't just dipping a toe in the water, this is widespread, deep conviction. So you add up all those positions from those 370 plus institutions, and you get to this number, $1.7 billion. That's the total value of their combined holdings. It's a figure that just screams broad, deep, and powerful support. This isn't just speculative hot money. This is strategic, long-term capital from the world's biggest managers. This chart tells such a simple but powerful story about where the market stands. The sentiment is just incredibly one-sided. Out of all the institutions involved, 352 of them are long, meaning they're betting the price goes up. And on the other side, just two are shorting it? I mean, a ratio of over 175 to 1? You almost never see that kind of consensus on Wall Street. Okay, so this brings us to the big question. Why? Why are all these heavy hitters making such a coordinated, lopsided bet on BM1R? It's not just a hunch. Before you deploy billions, you need a clear, credible strategy. And in this case, it all comes down to a very specific, very bold corporate plan. At the heart of this whole thing is this powerful idea called the alchemy of 5%. The company's goal is nothing less than to accumulate a treasury of 6 million ETH. Now, that wouldn't just be a big corporate piggy bank. It would represent 5% of the entire supply of Ethereum, which would basically position BMNR as a foundational core reserve asset for the whole ecosystem. And get this, it's not some far off dream on a slide deck. 
As you can see here, they are already deep into making it happen. The company has already locked down over 3.6 million ETH. That's roughly 60% of their ambitious target. They are walking the walk month after month. So how are they planning to get the rest? Well, the strategy is this clear three-step process. First, secure what they already have on a completely debt-free balance sheet, which is super smart, minimizes risk. Second, they stake that hoard to generate over $300 million in yield every year. Then, and this is the key part, they use that yield to buy even more ETH, creating this awesome self-sustaining flywheel. The final step is to use that engine to hit their 6 million ETH target by the end of 2026. Okay, now let's talk about how all these pieces, the legendary investor, that institutional tidal wave, and the clear corporate plan all combine to create this powerful feedback loop. It's like a multiplier effect, where each part makes the others even stronger, and it could create a really explosive mix of market forces. This slide lays out the dynamics perfectly. On one side, pushing things up, you have that insane, constant buying pressure from that $1.7 billion. Plus, they just announced a $1 billion share buyback program. And on the other side, there's almost nothing pushing back. As we saw, hardly anyone is shorting it. And with all this buying, the number of shares actually available to trade is just shrinking and shrinking. And analysts have been floored by the speed of this shift. One commentary pointed out that institutional ownership jumped 10 times from 10 million shares to 100 million in just one month. They called it a freight train of institutional capital. That highlights not just the size, but the incredible speed of the money coming in, which just turbocharges that whole supply and demand squeeze we just talked about. All right, so the big question is, what could all this mean for the company's price if this strategy keeps working? This is where analysts start mapping out what's called a super cycle, basically a long period of incredible growth driven by all these powerful forces coming together at once. Now, based on where they think Ethereum's price is going and BMNR successfully hitting its 5% goal, some analysts have mapped out a pretty dramatic potential upside. And look, obviously, these are just projections, not guarantees, but they show a potential path from where we are now to around $91 by the end of this year, then to $146 by mid-2026, and maybe even over $300 once that 5% target is hit. And this potential write-up isn't based on just one thing. It's a whole bunch of powerful catalysts all working together. It depends on Ethereum's price growing, the company nailing its acquisition plan, and those staking yields boosting the bottom line. Crucially, it also depends on the market starting to see the company differently, not just as a holding company, but as a core piece of the financial plumbing for a new digital world. So we're left with this really provocative question. We've seen a legendary investor make a huge bet. We've seen a $1.7 billion institutional wave follow right behind him, and we've looked at a clear plan to accumulate a huge chunk of a major digital asset. So is this the blueprint for creating the ultimate reserve asset for the Ethereum network? It's an incredible thought. All the pieces seem to be moving into place, but as always, only time will tell. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.